Welcome to the lecture series on neuronal dynamics. In this video, we look at the Fokker-Planck equation to describe membrane potential densities. As we know, a spike in neuron responds with a response of the membrane potential to spike arrival. If several spikes arrive, we add up the responses until a threshold is reached. And in this case, a spike is sent out, it's emitted and it's sent to other neurons. Now the spike itself is an event. It's created at the threshold. And after the spike, we have some sort of reset that leads to refractoriness. A specific model in that framework is the leaky integrating fire model consisting of an RC circuit that is charged by a current, which can be a time dependent current, which gives the trajectory shown here as a function of time, or it could also be charged by these spike arrivals. And again, if a threshold is reached, then a spike is sent out. Now, we have analyzed this in one of an earlier video that by plotting the derivative du dt as a function of the voltage u, and then we see that if there is no input current, there's a crossing point, the resting potential, and then there's a flux or flow towards this resting potential, the equilibrium potential. If we have a positive but constant current, this curve is shifted upwards and we have a flux always to the right. It increases the potential until the threshold is reached and thereafter we have a reset and the process starts again, which leads to repetitive firing. Now this flow or drift or flux towards a threshold is a concept that will appear today again in the context of the Fokker-Blank equation. Now for the Fokker-Blank equation, we'll take the point of view of populations of neurons that talk to each other by spikes. And the quantity we are interested in is the population activity, the average of the momentary spikes across the full population. So one population sends spikes to another one, which sends spikes to yet another one, which sends spikes to yet another one, and so forth. And moreover, there will be feedback within each population. And so the question we are interested in is this momentary spike rate in a short time window delta t, how many spikes do we count? That's the little n, and then we divide by the total number big N of neurons in that population. So it's units one over time in the limit delta t to zero. It's an instantaneous rate, and we can think of this as a firing rate, a population rate. I call it the population activity. And for the following lecture, I will always assume that we have a homogeneous network in the sense that each neuron receives input from k neurons in the network and each neuron receives the same external input. Now, within the network, communication is via spikes. So I pull out one of these neurons. It's driven by spike arrivals. We will look eventually at the most general case where spike arrivals are of two types. They are excitatory spike arrivals that put in a charge QE, and then there are inhibitory spike arrivals that put in a charge QI. F or F prime are the firing times. K or K prime are different presynaptic neurons or different types of neuronal groups. Now we can replace these spike arrivals by saying there's a mean drive or mean driving current and then there's a noise process. And uh, I think of this noise process as a white noise. So a differential equation with a white noise term is sometimes in the physics community called a Langevin equation. And we want to translate the Langevin equation into a Fokker-Blanc equation. And I'll, ex I'll explain how this works. Now, the specific case of a linear differential equation um, with white noise and this damping term 
is called the Ornstein Uhlenbeck process. So the aim for today is we think of a population of neurons. Different neurons have at each time step different membrane potentials. We will look at the distribution of membrane potentials across the population. And then in the first step, I will derive the so-called continuity equation, also called transport equation, that we will see. And then in the second step, we will translate this into the Fokker-Blank equation, and in which has first order derivatives and second order derivatives. And again, this will be this distribution of membrane potentials. And then we will apply this for specific cases in the final uh, lectures in this little series. To summarize, we did describe the dynamics of a homogeneous population of neurons under stochastic spike arrival. And to do that, I will develop with you the Fokker-Blank equation framework applied to membrane potential distributions.